folks. How's it going? Uh, sorry, I was in the middle of middle of, of texting. Um, good to see you. Good to be with you uh, on this Thursday, February the twenty second, twenty twenty four. It's uh, kind of cool out this morning again. A little chilly. Now we are going to warm up some, but uh, it's kind of nice uh, to have some of this cooler weather. Well, it's good to be with you. Uh, good to uh, to be on here Th- again. Thanks for joining me today. Let's do a couple of jokes. <clears throat> a couple of jokes. Um, this one comes to you via. Hold on. Sorry, I lost it for a second. This one comes to you via Miss Diana Hearing. Are you ready? I bet jellyfish are sad that there are no peanut butter fish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pretty funny. That was a good one. All right, I gotta pull up my other ones here. Oh, here's one. Are you ready, Angela? Yes. Uh, what a. <laughs> we a little bit are a little bit snuffy. Thank you. Coffee. What uh, what what the pirate say on his 80th birthday? I'm 80. How do you get a hundred math teachers in a room that only fits ninety nine? You carry the one. <laughs> uh, okay, enough of that. Let's get our devotionals this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Tickle my throat. Need more coffee. Everybody needs more coffee. Okay, there we go. Well, let's do our devotional time. Um, we've kind of been on, uh, not necessarily a, a common theme, but uh, an idea uh, about change, uh, about um, about being more of who God has called us to be, created us to be. And so we're going to kind of continue that that concept, that theme this morning. And I heard it. I heard it said um, that it's not enough to want to change. You have to put the work in, right? We've all heard that. It's not enough to just want to change. You have to do it. Um, I've heard people say, I, I, "I dream of this." Well, dreams are good. What are you doing to go after that dream? That's uh, you know, we have to we have to, to choose to go after. It. And so. Um, for a person to, to change, they yes, they have to want to, but they also have to do the stuff, right? We have to work on those issues in our lives one by one. And so as we're in this Lenten season thinking about, you know, okay, 40 days plus, uh, what are we doing? Are, are we doing anything that's going to have a lasting effect um, on our walk with the Lord? Uh, in 40 days, are we going to be emotionally stronger? Are we going to be mentally stronger? Are we going to be uh, maybe mentally sharper? Um, are we going to be spiritually closer? Is our prayer life uh, going to uh, going to increase? Maybe we might see some health benefits from fasting. Um, see, a lot of times we think that we're just we want it, and so we're going to wake up and everything's going to be changed. That's not how it happens. Um, we don't just get healthier by accident. We have to work at it. Now, a lot of times, 
you know, we, we use this Christian, Christian, uh, Christianese talk. And we say, well, I'm just going to wait on God for that. That That's good. And there's a point where, yes, we wait on him. But I want you to know that God's not... God, God's not... God's not just going to show up like a genie in a bottle and say, okay, this is what we want. Okay, we're, boof, we're done. No, no, See, we don't wait all the time. God is waiting on us to, to take that first step, to take that step of faith. Um, there's no growth in your life without without some of that hard work that takes to go into change. Um, and, and oftentimes, there's no growth without without some loss we have to get rid of some stuff right that whole idea of of fasting and cleaning out that that idea of making more space and more room for jesus um and and so there's there's changes required there's loss often accompanies that but it's 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 the act of us giving away that loss and in loss there's even some times of of pain pain is not always a bad thing pain can be a good thing because some of that stuff that we let go, that we shed, that we get rid of, um, we have to let things go. We have to even let some good things go if it's not in the wheelhouse that God has for us. There's a there's a passage in Ephesians that says this, Throw off your old sinful nature, your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Ephesians 4.22. Uh, you, you think, well, those are all bad things. Those are all bad things. Not always necessarily. <clears throat> we have to get rid of, yeah, the, the sin and the junk, <clears throat> but your former way of life. We have to get rid of a lot of those things. Uh, change your habits, change your routines, go through all of that so you might be able to see change. I've heard people say, well, that's, it's just who I am. It's just who I was made to be. Those are, that's, that's my, it's my genetics, right? Well, you know, it doesn't really matter where they came from. You need to deal with it. Well, you know, it's it's just in my genetics to, to, to be short with people. No, it's really not. That's a choice you could make. Um, your genetics explain your inclinations. They can do that, right? Because genetics run deep. But your genetics does not excuse your sin. Doesn't excuse your sin. Uh, here's the good news, though. Here's the good news. And we all know this. Uh, when a person becomes a believer, they now have a ha, have a light, have a power in them that is greater than themselves, and that's the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, he's not going to pick up a video game controller and control you for the rest of your life, but if you let him, he will speak to you, and he will give you guidance and direction. Our passage of scripture for the day is from Philippians 2, and the words are kind of small. I'm going to read it to you. But it says, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it's God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purposes. That's what's going on. It's God doing that work. So so we want to, does that mean we're supposed to, with, with fear and trembling, does that supposed to mean that we're supposed to be afraid of God? No, absolutely not. We're not afraid of God. It means that we're afraid that we're going to miss out on God's best for our life. We don't want to be afraid of God. I, but I think we should have fear that if, if we don't follow through on our, uh, on, on our relationship with him, we're going to miss out on what God has in store for us. I think, I think be afraid that, that we would never let go, that we would never lay ourselves down that altar. I think we should be afraid that we would never know what God's purpose is for our life. I think we should lay ourselves down at his feet. Um, the secret to change is not based on our own willpower, our own strength. It's giving God our full self, giving God our will, giving God everything of who we are and saying, okay, here you are, Holy Spirit, use me. I think it's a good reminder as we walk through this Lenten season Whatever you've chosen to maybe give up or to fast, or maybe you've tried to add uh, more time for prayer or, or, or scripture reading or whatever that may be. But as you do that, remember, it's not all on you. I think our focus should be, okay, what is God going to do through this? Not look at what I'm doing. Oh, look at me. No. God, what are you going to do through this time?
that we walk a little bit closer? Are you going to create some new habits? Are you going to get rid of some old ones? Where is your focus going to be? All right. That's all I got for you today. Hope you're off to a good start. Get your coffee. What, 50 degrees outside? Is that is that right? Mmm. Love that. 50 degrees. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. If Angela said if you just jumped in the middle, you need to go back and listen to Joe. So <laughs> there we go. Well, hi, Pepper. All right. Um, good to be with you. Good to see you on here. There she is. And I uh, hope you have a blessed day. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, uh, just a quick note, uh, Judy will be sending out prayer requests and things like that, but um, but I'm going to ask if you would uh, give her uh, some time. Uh, her brother passed away over the, uh, through the night. Um, it was expected. It wasn't unexpected. So be praying for, for Judy and, and, and Keith and their family and, and her siblings. Uh, also, that, that she'd be able to connect with them. There's some issues going on in the cell phone world right now. And so if, that she'd be able to connect with them and speak. Um, beyond that, uh, we're looking forward to gathering together for worship again. Uh, but between now and then, we have opportunities to be the people that God called us to be. So I want to challenge you and encourage you, uh, find that opportunity to be a blessing to someone because he is always a blessing to us, right? There you go. Love y'all. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a good day. We'll talk to you soon. If you need anything, do not hesitate to reach out, and uh, we'll be right there. Love you all. See you.